There are currently two students enrolled in the school. This is my prize student, Lilo. And we also have Kiki, who's hiding. Kiki's sort of the J.D. Salinger of our group. If J.D. Salinger never wrote anything! What inspires cats to write? The red dot. To the cats, the red dot is their god. And poets have always written about their god. Unfortunately, my students now realize their god lives in a utility drawer in the kitchen, so now they kind of write about themselves. When I used to go to parties, I would always sit on the couch and talk to the host cat, sometimes about writing. And then when people stopped inviting me to parties, I thought, why not open up my own writing school for cats? Why poetry specifically? Cats can only concentrate for so long because they're awake about 15 non-consecutive minutes during the day. What advice can your students give other aspiring feline poets? Write what you know. It's all about seeing your environment as you're keeping away from everyone possible. In other words, the writer's life. Walk us through a typical cat writer's day. I'll just see the cat staring out the window for five to six hours, and I'm watching them, and I just know they're trying to figure out how to screw me on the tuition. Lilo, look at the book. No, no, don't bite the book. Just look at it. Don't, don't sniff it. I need you to look at the book, please. No, no, not over, don't look at me. The book. I need it. I owe a lot of people money. Just please do this. No, look, no, please, just... Great. Yeah, we'll, we'll do this next week. We'll see how your schedule is. Yeah, we'll do it on your schedule. Beautiful.